everybody. I've got a 15 minute mini journey session that I'm doing for Christina today. And this is actually a follow up session. So the previous one, we're diving into a black magic issue. I'm going to put a link to that video session in the description so you can check it out if you're interested. So we're going to be doing a little bit more um, on this black magic issue. Okay, so Christina says, my in-laws practice black magic. I have recently purchased a session with you in which you separated me from black magic. It has helped up to a point. I can't seem to remove it from inanimate objects. I have tried to return it to the senders, but to no avail. They seem to have some kind of protection. So now I would like you to make a video to remove demons and negative entities from inanimate objects. Everything in my house is tainted. They carry negative entities that cause sensory difficulties, diseases, and all kinds of misfortunes and problems. Okay. Okay. Christina, give me just a moment here. I'm just going to absorb this. <sighs> Absorbing in your request. And thank you so much for sharing. This is a this is a good topic and there needs to be more information out there on this topic. So I really appreciate that. Okay, and relax. Okay. So I'm just going to walk into the energy atmosphere of your home, but I'm going to be tapping into what your home is made out of inanimate objects wise, okay, on the energy side of things. All right, so the first thing that's interesting is I'm not to the anima inanimate objects just yet, um, but we're getting there. There uh, seems to be quite an energy barrier. Um, so I'm getting into the energy space of your home and it's like uh, really bound tight so nothing can come in. But if nothing can come in, that means nothing can come out either. <laughs> so energy builds up inside a contained space and then where does it go exactly? So that's the first thing. This has to be broken down. Um, I, I can tell that you are working on creating kind of a defense mechanism, but we've got to um, make it the right balance because um, you, you can keep stuff out, right? But what about the stuff that's inside? There has to become breathability. So this, I will be breaking this down, but we'll come up with another solution here, okay? This is not helping you uh, at all. It's the right idea, but it's not quite the right balance. So, all right. So this is hard and this makes you very sad inside because as I'm going through your home energy, I can feel your challenges. And when I break this uh, structure down, um, you feel quite bewildered and at a loss. Um, and it's like kind of a shell that's gotten very hard and I've broken it and cracked it. And then once it opens up, there's all these odd like bugs. Um, they look like coffee beans and they just come pouring out. All this does. And it's like a sphere. And then I crack it right here. And then it's just like all this stuff is just pouring out. <laughs> It's going to feel a lot lighter in your home here. I know we're just working with 15 minutes, but there's a lot we can do. Just cracking that is helping. Okay, so boy, the next thing. Yeah, you've got such an energy congestion going on here. And uh, you're... Oh, just give me a minute. There's still a lot of venting happening with your home space. And there's so much calamity in here. Um, there's something like uh, jacks, um, like the game with the bouncy ball and jacks. Uh, they look like jacks. And there's lots of them. And they're all over the place. Um, and they're kind of like stars that, that kind of shiver and shake. And there's like thousands of them. But they're silver in color. 
There's also this sort of orb, energy orb, that is on the inside of what we just cracked open. And these jacks kind of are um, bouncing up and down around this sort of the, like around this orb. Mm. There's, such, there's a lot going on. So, yeah. You got so much junk in your home space. It's ridiculous. Um, they aren't necessarily saying that it's coming from the black magic family members. They're not necessarily saying that, but they're also not saying that it's not either. They're just saying super neutral about it. On how did this get here? They're just saying staying very neutral about it. But there's something um, of a learning lesson for you. <sighs> I don't know how you're living in this space. I'm still venting out a lot of this congestion here. I don't know how you even sleep at night. Still venting stuff out. I'm going to I'm going to um come up with some ideas so cuz I want to make as big of an impact as I can with the time we've got. Um so I'm placing um very large black tourmaline stones all about your home and shungite. Um let's just do some clear quartz crystal and smoky quartz and rose quartz like let's have some fun with it. We'll throw in some selenite. Like let's just put some crystals all around. Like let's get some serious crystal energy going on here. And I'm placing all these etheric crystals, energy crystals, all about your home space because they're real and they're effective. Even if they're invisible, they're powerful because they're energy balancers. <sighs> okay, so there's quite a dark entity here in your home space. And it's, it's not necessarily attached to you, it's attached to your home space. <laughs> And all these crystal energies are freaking it out because its balance is becoming um, disharmonized because we're changing the energy flow. It is no wonder you feel everything is tainted because everything, like you're, even the air you breathe is contaminated, energetically contaminated. And I would not want anybody in this place. I mean, it's that, that bad. He can't move right now. There's a, kind of the development of a sacred geometry shape in the center. And he's getting kind of stuck in it. Um, he can't get out of the barriers of this shape. And I see Archangel Metatron here. And uh, the shape is kind of absorbs this um, being inside of it. And Metatron says that he's going to take care of this. And uh, he takes this um, cube and the being within it and he takes it away. He doesn't want you to think about this. Try to make sense of what was that. Just let that go. Just let it go. So he's just taking that away. Let's see what happens next here. <sighs> there could be quite a lot in the layers. So this is just the introduction of what we got going on. All right, so we're opening up ver various portals um, and lots of fairy energies are entering, like literally thousands of fairies are coming from north, east, south, west. It's just all sacred directions and from within. So like, like unfathomable numbers of fairies are entering into here and they're starting to plant seeds. Um, you've been praying. I mean, you've been hardcore praying. So, I mean, you've really been praying because they've been trying to get in, but you created a barrier that has been blocking the love out as well as the dark stuff. And then you've been um, keeping all this stuff, this contaminated energy congested inside. So now we got that broken the shell and now everything can happen. So they're coming in. Okay, just a minute here. There's a big energy shift in movement, a lot of anger. This isn't necessarily you. It's it's like home energy consciousness, okay? So it's like really releasing things right now. 
bajillion fairies here. They are like so happy to be here with you. And they keep showing me there's a balance here between you and your family members. I, I remember that um, this kind of came up in the last session. Like, let's just let them do them. And then you just do the, you. But I can see why it hasn't come full circle. Because your home space balance is, like, insane. Like, uh, it's getting a lot better. You should notice uh, improvements, okay? And so the fairies are like, let's do you. They can do them, and that's okay. Because there's nothing interfering with your life. Um, just let them do them. So we've got this. We've got this under control. Um, so it's like bring more positive energy into your home. Um, don't worry about putting a protective shield up. Just allow more positive energy in. And the positive energy creates those uh, like frequency fences. So negative energy, um, there's like this invisible fence here. Negative energy comes in and goes, negative energy gets transformed into positive energy. So just more positive energy transforms negative energy like that. So even getting like lots of, like you could even get rough stones, like um, purchasing a bunch of rough stones and creating like um, crystal, like, like get vases and just like fill them up with crystals um, and set them all around your home. And it's, it's, it's affordable and it's powerful. Okay. It's very powerful. And just feel like um, these crystal grids is just taking care of you. I already, I mean, there's already a huge improvement. There's still a bit of a, like a post-traumatic stress type energy that's lingering here. It's not necessarily coming from the home space, but it's coming from you because um, you don't know how to trust um, and feel safe. That's a challenge now. It's like, it's a lot of heavy energy. I'm like, <sighs> I'm like heavy breathing here. <laughs> There's a lot of energy. Um, it's feeling a lot more positive. Like it's, it's like a bit, so much better, so much better. I can't even tell you what there is going on because so much stuff is going on. Fairies are planting seeds. We're growing gardens. Crystals are everywhere. Energies are going vroom, vroom, like vibrating all over the place. Um, the old energies are, are releasing and everybody's okay with that. Like the old energies are okay with that. The new energies are okay with that. Everybody's really okay with it. But the only one that's struggling here to adjust to what just happened is you. Which is okay, that's what this post-traumatic stress type lingering energy is because you're not familiar with the safety, the feeling of safety. <clears throat> All right, now the next thing, I've got to focus on you, okay? So your home space is feeling a lot better. Let's just let that energy continue to flow. Um, let's see what I can do to help you feel more of this clo closer connection with all of this. Okay. You feel infected and diseased. You feel contaminated. You feel even to the level that you might need to go to the hospital. Again, you had a toxic, energetically, insanely energetically toxic <laughs> home environment. So you picking up diseases does not surprise me at all because energetically toxic home spaces attract all kinds of gross energies that attract then all kinds of physical energy imbalances, okay? You, you need, like, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to take care of your bedroom energy here. We're going to lay you in bed. You, you're so tired and you're so drained and you're so exhausted from all this. You're so sick of it all and you look pale and you look like you could throw up. <sighs> Nobody can help you. You're all alone. And I see an old memory inside of you too and this has to do with like a black magic memory, like a voodoo type thing. Um, I, I still, I don't, I don't know how to define all the details of this memory, but you had some sort of a interaction with some, this is another life, had to do with a voodoo type energy or black magic type energy. Um, it feels like a curse as well. Um, it feels like you became, um, in, in, you ingested something that, um, 
was not uh, did not have a positive outcome at all. It was uh, quite uh, a bad outcome. I keep I keep seeing a. Uh, so I studied anthropology <laughs> in college and just a class, okay? I'm not like some expert or anything. But I have this lingering memory about um, like voodoo witch doctors. And there's some sort of, um, if they sprinkle this white powder outside your door and you accidentally step in it, it's got like puffer fish poison and it, you um, become paralyzed. And then it slows your heart rate down to the point that people will think you're dead and then you get buried alive. Now, I, I just have this weird um, recollection of this. There's something um, comparable to my weird recollection from this anthropology class and what they're trying to show me as a deeper memory within yourself, okay? Of a scary interaction with a voodoo witch doctor type thing and you were cursed and it's like it came to an ultimate death. So now you're reliving that the karmic beacon um you're going full circle and you're tripping over that one because you've got to reconcile it huh you needed to hear that there's a, a ghost um inside of you and it's a the like a ghost of yourself and she's uh, coming out from deep 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 inside of you and I see her lifting out into this room oh my gosh there's so much weird stuff now it's like she's been trapped and um, there's been a weird energy web that is kept her in it like a spider web in the energy realm she hasn't been able to be set free and she's been getting drained it's like this web has been draining her and uh, there's those feeding off of this ghost this soul I mean this old soul of yours it's like a fragmented part and uh, so every little strand of the web connects to a different mouth and the mouth is just sucking in like it's a straw um her infinite energy because souls are infinite energy a soul fragment is a universe of energy so for all eternity that soul fragment can be fed off of if the uh, the choice is to allow that to happen. Souls can say, nah, I don't want any part of this. You guys can go starve because I want no part of this. You don't have power over me. I'm my own self. I'm my own soul. So yeah, I'm out. I'm out of here. See ya. See ya. Not see ya. <laughs> so you can do that. But it's helping the soul remember its own power. So I start to see this bedroom of yours um, has this fragmented part, but it's extremely closely connected with your life, your present life um, experience right now. And they're really ridiculously overlapping. So you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So in a way it's you and you're caught in a spider web and you're being fed off of. So I'm just disconnecting all the, the cords from the mouths. Okay. The many mouths. They're quite, um, their energy power is extremely minute. There's really not a lot of energy power. There's just manipulation. And they're actually, um, they're kind of mindless, really. Like, um, not really aware of, I mean, they're not impressive by any means. They're almost like just, I mean, I could just blow them like little husks in the wind. That's how energetically powerful these, this is. You've been caught in the web of like a hardcore manipulation that has no energy power, but you gave it all the power and all the energy of your infinite universe. So you're pulling all this webbing back into your soul. This is another lifetime where, I mean, I'm really like, whoa, you're quite angry and your eyes are glowing and you're kind of like an X-Men, like you're going to freaking disintegrate everybody around you. The power that you are expressing right now is just way out of this world. <sighs> There's other realms and other ways that we can experience life, lifetimes, and there are magical realms. So this is sort of, um, this is very familiar to your soul 
to be this persona, which tells me that you do have a memory in your infinite essence of being a persona similar to this, having sorceress power kind of thing. Um, it's really cool. But I tell you, it's, you know, you can't be angry at them. You can only be angry at yourself because the lesson is for you. The lesson is for you to remember your power and you have a lot of it, clearly. Um, so don't waste it on the husks, man. It's not even worth it. Just let them go in their own weird way. Fairies are all around you and you're under kind of a weird spell and you forgot yourself. And, uh... Everything's going silent. I see this uh, soul fragment piece is starting to just look like a fragmented part that is falling asleep and then it's just returning to within you and it needs a time of meditation to um, basically come full circle with what the heck it just went through in that energy space and I hear the noise and the congestion and the calamity start to go the volume is turning way down okay and that and the positive energy and the fairies and the Garden of Eden growing throughout your home space and the crystals and all that is so full of love for you that it's helping you to remember that this is the harmony that you actually are familiar with. This makes sense to you. So anything else doesn't actually exist. So, I, I mean, you're feeling a baj I mean, bajillion times better. <laughs> Everything's a lot better. So I'm going to let you have this beautiful gift to process and uh thank you so so much this was a delight to connect with you again and to help you out and i i feel like we're coming way more full circle so you can feel a lot better all right <laughs> for those of you watching if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com Okay, everyone, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.